Hi, this is Dan from Valley Marine in Yakima, Washington, and we're making this video for those of you who might be shopping for an offshore aluminum boat in the next year or so. Uh, what we have here is on the right is our Duckworth 24 offshore. On the left is a competitor's 24 foot offshore. Um, this video is intended to show you some of the differences between the different manufacturers. Uh, the Duckworth, especially in the 24, is one of the few uh, manufacturers that makes their boat on an 8 foot bottom. The boat on the left is made on a 7 foot bottom. Uh, it may sound minor when you're uh, talking about numbers, but there's almost a 15% difference in surface area on the boat on the right, and it does make a big difference on how this boat's going to handle in rough water. But uh, enough of that for now. We're going to go over and show you some of the differences and some things to maybe look for when you're shopping, especially when we're talking hull technology. Um, if you uh, are not shopping for heavy gauge welded aluminum, if you look at a, a glass boat, pretty much every deep V glass boat that's been made for the last 30 years runs a reverse chine hull. Uh, Duckworth is one of the few heavy gauge brands that has integrated a reverse chine into their boat. The reverse chine is this piece right here. We have the, the V running up and then it kind of bevels out here, levels out, and this is providing stern lift at the back of the boat. It enables the manufacturer to taper the V earlier in the process so you get a better riding boat. It enhances stability both at rest and on plane. The boat corners flatter. You don't have to use the trim tabs near as much. You just get a lot better performing boat. If I was to walk around our lot today and show you the different hulls, you would see practically every fiberglass boat that has been made in the last 30 years has that reverse chine. Um, on the competitor's boat here, the bottom does not run all the way out, so this is a 24-foot offshore with a 24-foot run surface. A lot of manufacturers now are going to uh, the full bracketed setup where the bottom runs all the way out to the motor so you get a 26 foot run surface here and and that is going to make a big difference in rough water uh, it increases the buoyancy of the boat floats more neutrally in the water uh, just helps the boat to handle that much better um, going back over to this side here this particular boat's on a seven foot bottom this boat's on an eight foot bottom doesn't sound like much difference, but you can see how much more vertical the wall is here. Uh, when you have a couple of guys standing on one side of the boat and trying to net a fish, or if you've just got a lot of boat traffic, side to side waves going, this particular boat is gonna rock around a lot less. It's gonna be a lot more stable than a seven foot bottom boat in the same conditions. Um, one last thing to note, uh, as we leave the back of the boat here, um, when you're looking at offshore boats, it's actually good to look for something that's got a full side paint. You'll see as we walk around this boat, it's got a full side paint. Uh, Unpainted aluminum tends to get a lot of chalkiness over time. You're going to see uh, a little bit of surface corrosion of chalkiness from being used in salt water. With the paint, you're not going to get that near as quickly. It's going to stay looking a lot nicer and make it easier to maintain as well. Walk around the side of the boat here. Um, you'll notice on this particular boat, when we were talking about paint a little while ago, we've run two-tone paint to the chine on this boat, which is going to help this boat stay looking a lot nicer um, over the period that you own this boat. We're going to work our way to the front, kind of look at the front uh, of the boat, show you the difference in the V here. On this particular boat, there's our reverse chine running all the way up. You can see the V is really pronounced right here. We'll move around to this other boat right here. Again, back down to the V. You can see how steep that V is. That's going to offer a real soft ride if you're in five and six foot swells. Over to this side, um, you got a nice V towards the front of the boat, but it flattens out really quickly. Not near as much V on this boat. Uh, part of it is because they have the narrower bottom, so they have to flatten it out earlier for stability. Um, with this reverse chine hull, you're just going to get a lot more substantial ride. When you go to a wider bottom, you are going to add cost to this boat. So uh, if you're shopping 7 foot versus 8 foot bottom boats, the 8 foot bo boats are going to be a lot more expensive. But you do get um, uh, a more capable boat if you're going to go out in big water. So something to note, definitely 
Uh, if you have folks that get seasick or something like that, this is going to feel more solid to them. Uh, this is going to be a lower cost alternative. Uh, one last thing to note, looking at the finish, um, after a few seasons, you're gonna, you're, an unpainted hole is going to give you this kind of a look. Um, I'll have another used uh, welded aluminum to look at right now that's been out in the salt, but you're going to have that painted surface looking uh, nice for quite a bit longer. Thank you very much for your time today. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. Uh, this boat we have uh, is a closeout 2015, and we need to get it moved. So that's another reason why we made this video today. Uh, but please call us if you have any questions. Thank you.